Embarrassing Bodies Patient Forced Into Celibacy Over Vagina Horror Warts, cysts and abnormal boobs were on the agenda tonight but it was the pelvic floor chat that got everyone talking. Bridget was in the clinic on this week's show, which originally aired in April 2009, and she wasted no time in explaining her ailment. Bridget wanted help from Dr. Pixie with her excessively large vagina. It's ruining my life. It's made me depressed. I have no femininity, she explained. When she coughed things were poking out where they shouldn't be Dr. Pixie McKenna Bridget went on to reveal that past lovers rejected her for having a large vagina. She now even sleeps in a separate bedroom from her own husband, who also refused to have sex with her until the problem was rectified. Dr. Pixie examined Bridget and quickly discovered the issue. She had excess skin from losing weight and a prolapse, she said to camera. When she coughed things were poking out where they shouldn't be. Braggett was considered a difficult case and even had to visit a specialist. It was originally thought that hysterectomy was the only solution to get Braggett back in the bedroom, but more bad news was in store. Braggett was told that there is no quick fix for all of her symptoms, which included constant pain and heavy bleeding. While the hysterectomy would help with the bleeding, it wouldn't cure the pain, and further examinations had be done. In the meantime, Bridget was fitted with a coil, and her story prompted the doctors to take their talk about pelvic floor further. Hitting the streets of Birmingham, the doctors spoke to locals about the perils of weak pelvic floor muscles and how to prevent accidents with plenty of pelvic exercises. Music